Yes, we are going to share about the mercy of God. And our main reading is going to be in the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. Because of the Lord's mercy, we are not consumed, for his compassion does not fail. They are new every morning. Greater is your faithfulness. In this speaking, I'm going to develop two topics. I'm going to speak about the, the benefit of God's mercy and also the key or how to access the mercy of God. For the benefit of God's mercy, we must understand one thing, especially in this moment where we experience a lot of difficulty in the corona where many people didn't know where they could end, but it was only because of God's mercy that many of us were not consumed. Because of God's mercy, we are not consumed. That's what the Bible says. We are not consumed. We are not finished. We're supposed to finish long time because the situation was terrible, but God's mercy has prevented us from being consumed. I'm going to speak also the second point or benefit of God's mercy. Because of God's mercy, we are shielded by God's mercy. We are protected by God's mercy. The enemy will lack to finish us. What the enemy planned to destroy us did not happen because of God's mercy. If we read the Bible in the book of Psalm 136 verse 24, the Bible says, and he has redeemed us from our enemy for his mercy endure forever. So the expectation of the enemy did not happen because of God's mercy. I'm going to speak also another point or benefit of God's mercy. God's mercy removes us from misery and poverty and situation of lacking any situation that is uncomfortable God's mercy can remove us from those situations when we go in the Bible we see the blind Bartimaeus in the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 47 and 48 he cried to the Lord Jesus son of David have mercy on me have mercy on me I am tired of this situation I am tired of this poverty. I am tired of this situation of misery. Have mercy. The mercy of God can remove us from situation of poverty, from situation of misery, from situation of not knowing what to do. The mercy of God. You know, the mercy of God is the nature of God. God is a God of mercy. The mercy of God can also give us direction in life. When you do not know what to do, when you find yourself in four corner road, you don't know where to go, the mercy of God can give you direction. When we read in the book of Psalm 136 verse 16, to him who led his people through the wilderness for his mercy endure forever. God gave direction to the people of Israel when they were in a wilderness. They didn't know where to go. By his mercy, he gave them direction. So if you find yourself stuck in life, do not know what is the next step to do, plead for God's mercy into your life. The mercy of God again shield us from the wrong action or the wrong consequence of life. According to the world, many people do not deserve the second chance, but God's mercy gives you the second chance. You know, when we read the Bible, the story of the woman who was caught in prostitution, the, the world could judge her harshly. She's supposed to be stoned. She's supposed to be killed because that's what the law say. But God mercy, give the woman a second chance. We know many women 
they went through many abortion, eight abortion, nine abortion in their youth. But when they get to marry, they still have a kid because of God's mercy. God's mercy can give you a second chance in life. But let me tell you, do not take God's mercy for granted because many people, they abuse the mercy of God. When Jesus addressed the woman, he said, woman, go and sin no more. Go and do it no more. When you take God's mercy for granted, you end up in trouble. You end up in confusion. God's mercy can give you a second chance in life. God's mercy, God's mercy is very important in the life of a believer. God's mercy can shield us in a time of confusion. I'm going to talk quickly about the key or how to access the mercy of God. You know, you must understand there are things in life that can only be changed by God's mercy. There are situations in life that only the mercy of God can address for you. The key of God's mercy. The first point is to thank God for what he has done for you. Many people do not have the heart to thank God for what he has done for them. You need to learn to thank God for him to do more in your life. That is the first key. The heart of gratitude is a heart that can receive more. A heart that knows how to thank God is a heart that can receive more from the Lord. The second key or how to access the mercy of God you need to ask God for mercy. Many people do not know how to ask God for mercy. But you need to ask God for mercy. When you pray, you must ask God to have mercy on you. To have mercy in your situation. To change your situation. That's what the blind Bartimaeus did. He saw that his situation was terrible. And he cried to God. He asked God for mercy. He cried. They tried to stop him, but he cried more for God to have mercy. It means when you cry for God's mercy, he can remove you from misery. He can change your situation. He can change your state. The other key to access the mercy of God, you need to show mercy to other people. Some people do not know how to forgive. Some people do not know how to show mercy. They live about themselves. Everything is about themselves. No, you will never, you will never, never access the mercy of God if you do not know how to show mercy to other people. You must show mercy to other people. You must have an act of mercy and you'll find mercy in the eyes of God. Another key point to access the mercy of God is to take pleasure in Zion. You must be involved in a building. You must be involved in the advancement of the kingdom of God. When you put yourself to the building of Zion to take pleasure in Zion to take pleasure in advancement the kingdom of God through preaching, through evangelism, through giving, you'll find mercy in the sight of God. When we read the Bible in the book of Psalm 102 verse 13 to 14, you can see for those who show pleasure in Zion, God show them mercy. You must find pleasure in Zion. You must find pleasure in doing 
the things of God. You know, when we see in the Bible, there was a man called the centurion. You know, because he was involved in the kingdom construction, when one of his servants was sick, he sent people to Jesus to send him to come and heal his servant. You know, when you read the Bible in the book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 2, 23, verse 23, the Bible say, the people say to Jesus, that man is worthy for you to show him mercy because he has built our temple. He is involved in the construction of God. You must know as a believer, you must know as a Christian to ask for God's mercy. God's mercy can change the impossible. God's mercy can open door that was closed for years, for 20 years when you find mercy in God's presence, things can change. As a believer, as a Christian, you must know to ask for God's mercy. In your prayer, when you pray, ask God to show you mercy. Learn to have mercy to others. Don't keep people in your heart. Don't keep people in your heart. Don't refuse to open to forgive others. You will find mercy. May the Lord bless you. Amen.